Alrighty, folks, so I worked on this fender here and the inner fender a little bit. The inner fender ain't done yet, but I've been working on my Chevelle here. And uh, so went ahead and cleaned the fender up, and this is what we got. So, yeah, I worked and worked and worked on that thing. We got a couple bad spots, like I showed in another video. Somebody drilled a bunch of holes and pulled that back out. So, we can fix that though it's not too big a deal and then we got a little bit of rot in the bottom so not too worried about that it's not terrible but it's fixable so but it's it's this fender has next to hardly no rod in it that little bit right there ain't nothing but and then i went ahead i mean i i spent some serious time on this fender but if uh, y'all remember, I mean, somebody had undercoated the living heck out of this thing. And I still got to clean the other side up. But I done went in here and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned that stuff off. And then this is what we got so far. So it's not perfect, but. But I even went into the. As far as doing the edge as well, you know, I did the whole edge back here too, and you know, I cleaned everything up. And like I said, it ain't done. This is just to clean it up. I like to clean stuff get up first, get everything down to bare metal. And I'm still working on this inner fender here, but I still got some undercoating to get off there. But it's it's fairly straight, so I, I think it's going to be a good fender. And this is a good original GM fender. So, we'll weld up the antenna hole, shaving that off. And then, uh, we got a hood bumper that goes right there, or grommet, whatever you want to call it. That's what that slot's for. But, cleaned up fairly well. Got a few dents and dings in it. A little one right there. This thing's fairly clean, though. So, other than right there, that's the worst spot, right there. But we can fix that. It's, it didn't protrude into the lip down here. So somebody took a grinder and ground into that metal. You can see, you know, they, they really didn't know what they were doing. But they gouged the heck out of it. So it goes up to about right there and it kind of fades out. So this whole area right here is pretty rough, but it could be fixed. I'll probably what I'll do is I'll straighten it out as best as I can and then I'll just weld all those holes up and then just call it good. So it'll have a little bit of filler in it, but that's not that big a deal. And then I got a bunch of holes for the molding in there that I'm gonna weld up too. So I'm not gonna put the moldings back in. Didn't screw down there yet. This fender ain't done, it ain't done, so I just want to I like to get the whole fender down to bare metal and see what i'm dealing with here and and uh go from there so that's what i like to do and ain't doing yet but i think it turned out fairly good it's fairly straight a few places in it but i think it'll clean up pretty good that's why i welded up the antenna on this fender here is about right in here you can't really tell it's dirty it's pine needles on it but you can't really tell but it'll clean up. I gotta finish getting this fender down to bare metal yet. But but we'll make it work. I gotta get back on this stuff. But definitely getting there, so I'll finish up this other ender fender here and get this thing knocked out and I went all the way around the edge. I mean I thoroughly detailed this thing where the eyebrow trim goes. So I got one bolt that's broke off down there, but that's it. I got one right there not a big deal so and i don't I'm not sure what's happened there looks like it might have a little crease or something yeah i got a little crease or something right there something going on but we could fix it so turned out fairly straight i think so but yeah i've just been wanting to work on this for a little while and 
waiting on parts for some other projects so i like to work on this in between here and there but i gotta do the whole firewall the whole cow you know everything's gonna be taken down to bare metal so but gotta get in here missing a bolt for the door hinge so on that top door hinge there we gotta get that we gotta line this door up a little better and uh, i think we'll have it so it's kind of out of whack here a little bit so we can line that this body didn't have doors on it when i bought it so but i'm trying to straighten it out trying to get this thing cleaned up and i'm not putting quarter panels or anything like that i'm just going to fix the bottom of them and call it good because i mean the rest of the quarter is really straight and clean sheet metal so i'm not worried about it so i will get another trunk lid for it i do have one same i did that by accident but that's all right y'all remember what happened with that i had my 78 ford behind this car here and you know it's kind of emergency situation there my truck was on fire and i didn't want to take out my chevelle and all that stuff too so you know i put my feet against the frame back here and and i shoved that f-150 back far enough so that if the fire got out of control we wouldn't take my chevelle out too but that was 78 forward i was piddling around with thank god it never got out of control worse than that but that's why that trunk lid's crinkled like that but that's why this grill's a little tweaked but it's a little bent right in here but, but yeah i had to take my feet and shove this truck on back because this thing was on fire and you know i didn't want to take my chevelle out either so but here soon we're gonna get tired of messing around with front clips but here soon we're gonna get this stuff knocked out and whether i get that front clip for the biscayne paint or not we're gonna bolt it back on so we can throw a radiator in this car and then we can paint it later on i'm not too worried about it but uh yeah just wanted to make a little update i'm gonna pull this fender off too and I'm going to decide if I'm going to take this fender, the whole new front clip, the new reproduction stuff, and I uh, might clean it up, prime it, and just sell it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, because this, this fender and the, uh, the inner fender ain't terrible, but this fender ain't worth nothing. But, and I got a good original fender, too, so. But I just wanted to make a little update. So get this side off here and clean the other fender and the inner fender up. And I'll probably I'd like to find a good original radiator support for this car. After five auto, a good buddy of mine, he gave me a good original hood. Got one little dent in it, but that ain't no big deal. I'd rather deal with that than deal with you know gaps like this. That's just ridiculous. So so won't be too much longer and We'll be taking that hood and you know i'm gonna take everything down bare metal get everything cleaned up see what i truly got and i'll see what i'm dealing with so but i'd love to fight a good original radiator support and a ballast panel i don't i can't remember if i got the ballast panel or not i think i do so i got a brand new 66 dash top for this thing i don't know if i'll use it but I hope I don't have a bunch of issues registering this car and putting tags on it because I'm making the body's a 67, but I want to make it a 66. So hopefully I don't have a bunch of issues with that. I hope not. But it's it's a 67, so. Trying to make it a 66. All right, just figure I'll show a little update, so. Trying to clean this thing up a little bit. Because it ain't going to be too much longer and maybe springtime we'll be putting the TBI motor back in here and figuring out something about the four speed or going with the five speed one or two. But all right, see y'all later. Bye.